Hey guys, I want to welcome you all to a small part of my studio. This is basically where we sort of put the limiteds together and get them ready for the galleries. Um, as most of you may know, yesterday we released uh, three new pieces, which is the first time we have uh, ever done so. Um, what I want to do today is I want to talk to you guys a little bit about every piece that was released yesterday and sort of give you an insight of what those pieces meant to me, what was going through my mind when I created them. Uh, the first one is this little itty bitty piece called A Tale for Dreamers. This piece basically is about that time when we're all in pre-K, kindergarten, where the teacher would sort of read us a story about anything, whether it could be dinosaurs, ghosts, uh, firemen, policemen, and you're just sort of sitting there just engrossed totally in what the teacher is saying and how you envision yourself being those characters that you're being uh, told about. Um, so the, in the sense of being a child, you had no limitations on whether you wanted to be a scientist or an astronaut or if you wanted to grow up and, and be a monster or a dinosaur. As a kid, there was no, no limitations whatsoever. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we, we all tend to grow up and it's moments like these when you see a picture that sort of bring you back to that time and you sort of relish that in and it just sort of brings a smile to those little moments where you were surrounded by your close friends and you all sort of shared the same stories. Uh, number two release was a piece called A Statement Made. With this piece, um, as most of you know who have collected my work for a while, there's always a small little remark here in the corner. Um, in this particular piece, the little remark in the corner is a, a new character. And that little character, I would love to share his name with you, his coloring and, and so on. But I'm going to keep that to myself for a little bit because you guys are going to see a lot of this little character um, this year as, as the year develops. Uh, statement made. It's mostly about um, that little love note that you leave um, in the morning, whether you're going to work or at night before you go to bed, and you leave it for your wife, or your girlfriend, or your kids, your mother, anybody who you care about. Um, it's amazing to me. I've always found it interesting that you could say I love you a thousand times to somebody, but if you just write a little heart on a piece of paper and you tack it to a window and you put it near a pillow or you put it on their coffee mug in the morning, People tend to keep that. It's it's uh, it's that thing that you just want to hang on to. It's something in your hand. The word love flows out and it disappears. But that little letter, that little note, will stay with you forever. And as most of you may know, most of you might know, you sort of put it away. You put it in a book. You keep it in a box for later on in life that you can just sort of sit back and reminisce o over the things you have uh, enjoyed in your life. And last but not least is Dear Baby Cakes. Um, this piece right here actually hangs in my living room. I created two pieces uh, devoted to the great work of, of Norman Rockwell. And if uh, some of you don't know who Norman Rockwell is, I suggest you Google and you will probably see the inspiration for this piece. Um, in this case, I had done two pieces. One of them went to uh, Pop Gallery in Orlando, and the other, my wife uh, just absolutely fell in love with. Um, so I gave this piece to her um, as a Mother's Day gift. Uh, in this, the little letter you have here is actually filled with a little personal thing to my wife um, that I really didn't feel like sharing with everybody since it's personal. But what I have done here is I have had it removed so then as you guys purchase these pieces and you come and see me at a show, you can actually have me put something on there specifically to your loved one or anything that you really want me to put in there. This piece is an AP. You can see here there are floating little hearts, little hearts coming out of Marcinivo's pocket and some around Lucky's nose. Every one of these pieces where those hearts are located they're in a different, they're just different throughout. They're in different locations. So every piece will still be unique. Also on the back of the APs, there is a, also a small doodle. It's been signed and numbered. So it corresponds to the number on the front. This piece is on canvas. The SNs come in a 16 by 20 and the APs come in a 20 by 24, which is the original size of this image. Um, thank you guys very much. 
I hope you'll keep tuning in to YouTube as we keep rolling these little videos. For my next three releases, we'll do the same exact thing again. Um, follow me also on, on Facebook, the Flavio Napoleone uh, Fan Club. You can also follow me on Instagram under my name. And if you guys have any questions ever, whatsoever, please don't be shy and ask away on the fan club or contact your local gallery, your favorite gallery, for information on how to get releases, originals, and when the shows will be. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs>